no fish nick here it is march 7th and we are fishing open water uh, on the wisconsin river and uh, just doing some uh, casting for for walleyes we were here last week and did really well um cut uh, i was with uh, two buddies and they cut out the ice with the chainsaw i got some footage here i'll show you from that adventure Okay, I'm just videoing in case you fall in. I got it on tape, you know. <laughs> All right, there goes our iceberg. <laughs> um, here's a picture of uh, how we fared, and plus they uh, threw we threw back three slots. I did not catch a slot, but the my buddy Al and. Uh, and Matt, they each caught, uh, I think we had three, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's uh, three so slots caught that night, so that's kind of cool. They were uh, on the underside of 20, the the lower side, but uh, but anyway, this spot definitely has some potential for some real big ones, so uh, Matt's caught some uh, that were over 30 inches here in the past, so we're gonna give her hell. Okay, this technique is just cast it out, let her sink for uh, probably five six seconds Just cast it out You know let her sink down a little bit. Uh, we're figuring it's probably 10 10 feet deep out there And then just give her some twitches Give her a couple twitches here and there you know the water temps uh, just over freezing so you don't want to do uh you don't have to go fast at all you know you might want to give a couple of twitches fast just to get the lateral line of the fish to let them know it's there but the actual retrieval is really slow and a lot of times uh when you just on the pause you'll feel a twack and uh and all this i brought two rods with me this is my braid this is a 15 pound braid and i do have a 12 pound uh, leader on at the end of this probably about six feet of leader and my leader is like a uh, the 12 pound mono or uh, it's a floral coat and on my other rod I actually have a tw the 12 pound floral coat the reason this uh, this braid really when the temperatures when that Sun goes down I'm gonna get ice on my guides really bad and this braid really sucks in them cold temperatures where that mono, you, you can get away with a little more, uh, less freeze ups. So that's why you bring two rods right now when it's over 32 degrees outside. This braid works good, but once that sun goes down, that uh, 12 pound floral coat, uh, it's actually a coat polymer uh, coated with uh, uh, floral carbon. And Oh. oh nope that was a piece of wood it didn't fight back so anyway that's the technique hopefully we get some fish going here shortly so nice to be casting a long rod again we'll be breaking out the boat pretty quick or and a kayak okay switch back to the mono rod and uh, you can see uh, there's probably it's probably like six inches of ice here, um, but it's shallow enough where just chest waders. So we're doing we're, it's only uh, waist deep, and then there's a drop off. So don't think that it's like ten feet deep here. If we fall in, it's uh, only uh, waist deep. So it's not as dangerous as it looks. Okay, <clears throat> it's almost happy hour. And what I mean by that is once that sun goes below the tree line uh, then that's usually when you start catching those walleyes so just waiting on the sun to go down and we should start getting some uh, some fishies now I forgot my uh, my big light so I'm gonna be working with just a little bit of light coming off my cell phone I'll do the best I can for you guys. Even the mono rod still ices up, but it just 
You can get a lot more casts with the mono rod where the braid it pretty much stops you in its tracks where at least the mono you can work through it for a while. I had to just break it out. Alright, I gotta utilize Matt's light. So just look at the fish mat. Oh yeah, there's a that's gotta be a 19 or 20. There's a better one. When you catch them like that, that means the, the, the fish try to pin it. So yeah, that's a dandy. Cool. Right now I'm skunked. It's a slower bite tonight than it was the other night. Yeah, everything's really light. So. Actually, right. I don't think that's over 20. No, that's probably legal. It's probably like a 19, almost 20. Gonna measure them. Yeah, take measures in that bucket. All right. Again, another slot. That one looks a little bigger even. Ooh, geez. Yeah, that's another. She's 24. Yeah. That's, look at the back. Yeah. She's got a big back on her. You know, Matt's got the touch. I haven't mastered this this stuff yet. All right. Well, you got your tape all set. 22. 22. Yeah, 23. Yeah. 22 to 23. She's fat. She's loaded with eggs. Well. Nice slot fish. Wisconsin River, baby. There she goes. All right, we're back at the Wisconsin River. It's March 16th. We're going to uh, give her hell for some walleyes. Today I'm going to try my the, uh, the bee fishing moxie that I've been using for the last couple years. Uh, during the daylight I'll try that. And then uh, after dark we'll probably go towards uh, uh, the countdown, the countdown of Paula's. So, all right, we're gonna give her heck. Matt's been out here a couple times in the last week and uh, got some nice muskies and um, northerns and walleyes. Uh, and so it's been a week since I've been here. So we're gonna give her hell again. All right. Okay, first hook up with the jig. It's something really big. No. Probably a muskier pike, Matt saying. He, like I said, he last. Last week, Matt was out here getting some big old fish. Oh, big old musky. Cool. Oh, stuck. <laughs> yeah, be careful because I'm stuck in that mud. Oh, yeah. Probably the same one you caught last week. It looks over 40 inches. Yeah, it's got a big, big head and a big, thick back on him. Yeah, he's a big boy. Try to get Matt. Whoa! <laughs> 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 yeah, he, he, he's between <laughs> my legs are there. <laughs> my, my feet are stuck in the mud. Anyway, holy shit! No, God, he got all crazy now. All right. Yeah. No, it's on the side of his mouth, which is where, you know, where you'd want to have it. Uh-oh. Felt like he went through some wood almost. Oh, ice chunk. Okay. My biggest muskie is 46. I got him in the mouth of the Fox River. He's wrapped around something, I think. I might... Yeah, he's, he's hooked on something. Can you grab his tail? Or he's probably gonna break my line.
Oh, okay. They came off. All right. Nice musky. <laughs> Let's get a picture, a real picture of them. Uh, okay. This is low yeah. Okay. Now I got a little northern. Oh, a little yeah, little pike, snaky guy. So. All right, that was like on the very next cast since that musky. So they're, they're liking the jig for now. Open up, buddy. Open up. Okay, little guy. Hopefully it didn't hurt my leader. Ooh, I'm gonna retie. Ooh, that's a big pike. Thick, these are very healthy fish. Yeah, that worked out good. Mine was too mine was too big to do that. No. Good job, Matt. Now it's on the countdown. All right, got one going. Doesn't feel ah. Oh. <laughs> stick. All right. Sometimes these guys fool you. I thought I had a walleye coming in and it's a stick I'm gonna switch to the countdown here the Sun's about to go down you know I just been casting this out let it get down and slow jigging it in and wait for the tick beautiful day a lot of wind though uh, okay the Sun's going down and the winds calming down so oh, hopefully we can get one to bite here. <clears throat> so far it's been the big predators, the muskies and northerns. As that sun goes down, hopefully these walleye start biting. They said it's uh, March 16th today. I'm gonna pull out the boat. A lot of people are fishing the Fox River I saw already. You can always take my kayak too, or the boat. I got a lot of options. The boats could be ready in 40 minutes. Now I'm sitting on the iceberg, taking a load off for a minute here while still fishing. Just don't want the iceberg to float me out too far where I get off the drop off. That'd be something. All right, fish on. I just shut off the camera too. In the very next cast, as I was, I just cast it out and I was letting it sink else and I felt a tick through the line. So this one's for sure a walleye, the way it hit. Still sitting here on the iceberg. Oh yeah. That's possible legal. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a little short. Based on its mouth. I'm not sure this one's gonna go. It might be a little short, but walleyes are on the menu. Nope, oh, short. All right, <clears throat> Matt just pulled one in. Another shorty though. Cool, the bite is on. There we go. Hit it on the drop. That one looks like it could. Oh, oh. Might be legal. 
Come here, buddy. All right, uh, a little short. Yep, cool. Countdown twitching. Works on the Fox River too. I was doing this last year, last spring, and it worked great. Matt, Matt just got a keeper there. All right, cool. Okay, <coughs> it's hooked up. I know there's not much light left. So. <coughs> Turn on the light for you guys. This feels like a pretty good one. We're gonna find out shortly. Nice one. <clears throat> nice eater. Prop. Nice one, probably about the same size as the last one. So sweet. Plus, Matt, uh, I got a couple. Matt got a couple that I did not get any camp uh, footage of. So we're doing pretty good. Okay, <coughs> two of these are mine, and two are Matt's. Plus, we got some shorts that we released, and the big ones. Matt got all wet, <coughs> and so did our friend Al. They went in after a. Uh, original uh, countdown one that was uh, the old school one was from Finland and uh, they went <laughs> they didn't want to lose it because yeah like this one here you know those things are worth a lot to these guys because all these new ones the uh, the new Rapplas kind of suck because the lips break off really easy and uh, if you got the old ones don't don't get rid of them they're they're good so all right that's it for tonight NFN out